Hello world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math Freebie of the Week. So I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week we'll practice a specific question type. These videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they're to the point. And at the end of the video, I'll point you in the direction of some more in-depth videos if you know that you need some more practice to make math your jam. The question type that we are going to focus on this week is, drum roll please, matching item. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach you. Before we get started, I just wanted to clarify something. The purpose of these videos is to break down the test item style. What we're thinking when we're breaking down a test question, okay? In other words, it might seem like I'm moving through the problem and the actual solving pretty quickly. I'm not trying to teach you something new when it comes to the math. I'm assuming that you already have seen it. If you know that you do need help though, remember I mentioned at the end of the video, I'll show you where you can access more in-depth video lessons that break down the actual content, the actual math that's going on. This is just about the test practice, okay? So go ahead and pause the video and solve today's problem on your own. And when you're ready, press play to check your work. All right, third grade, here is your Fast Math freebie for this week. It says that three original numbers have been rounded to create a new number. We need to determine whether the original numbers were rounded to the nearest 10 or to the nearest 100, okay? So again, we have these numbers here. These are the original numbers. Each one of those has been rounded to a new number. So we have to go through and say, okay, 287 was rounded and now we have 300. Was that to the nearest 10? If so, we'll select the check mark there. Or is it to the nearest 100 that, had, that it was rounded to? So that's what we're doing today. Okay. So I'm gonna create some space for me to work this out using a number line. We have 287. First, we're going to round this to the nearest 10. Let's see if that's what we get. We have 28 tens. So when I'm creating my number line, I know it'll be 28 tens on the left side and 29 tens on the right side, or 280 and 290. The halfway point is really important. 285 is that halfway point because 287 is right here past the halfway point. It would be rounded up to 290 when rounded to the nearest 10. But the new number is not 290, it is what? Yeah, 300. So it's not to the nearest 10, it must be to the nearest 100, but let's make sure. Okay, to the nearest 100 this time. So we have two hundreds be between 200 and 300. Again, our halfway point is important. We've got 250 here and 287 is again past that halfway point, causing us to round up to 300 and that is the answer. So I'm gonna select, whoo, a little crazy there, to the nearest 100 right there. You just check that box. If you are on a computer-based test, you just click it. Okay, now we have the next number is 309. 309, and we have the new number of 300. So first let's round it to the nearest 10. There are 30 tens. So between 30 tens or 300 and 31 tens, which would be 310. Halfway point is 305. And we know that 309 is past 305. So we would round up to 310. Let me go over here and just circle that 290 just to keep consistency. So 310 is what would be the answer if we were rounding the nearest 10, but it's not. The new number that's been created is 300. So again, it must be to the nearest hundreds place that this number was rounded to, but let's make sure. 309 has three hundreds, which means we've got 300 on this side, and the next 100 would be 400. Halfway would be 350. And 309 is way over here, which means that because it's before that halfway point, we're rounding down to 300. So we will go ahead and check 
to the nearest hundred again. Let's do that last one, 306. And the new number that was created is 310. Now I'm guessing that it's to the nearest 10 because I know 306 would round up to 310. That's closer to it, but let's make sure. We have 30 tens in 306. So that would be between 30 tens or 300 and 31 tens or 310. That way would be 305 and 306 is just past it rounding up to 310. So yes, we are rounding to the nearest 10 there. And just to again, continue proving our answer, let's go ahead and round to the nearest 100 just to make sure. So three is in the hundreds place. So we have this between 300 and the next 100, which would be 400. That waypoint is 350 and 306 is right there. Meaning that 306 would round down because it's below the halfway point to 300. But the new number is 310. So we have nearest 100, nearest 100, nearest 10 as your answers for this matching item type. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the links somewhere around this video for some more info. Cool? Before we go, let me remind you that Practice is not something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to be better, stronger, or more confident with something, you've got to put in the effort to throw down your best. And just remember that I believe in you, and I'll see you next time, world changers!